So today we're exploring the posterior lateral corner of the knee, a super important structure that really helps us with stability at the knee joint. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Khalid here, welcome back to Clinical Physio. So today we're discussing the posterior lateral corner of the knee, a really important set of structures made up of muscles, ligaments and tendons at the posterior lateral corner of the knee joint. Its main role is to prevent excessive varus forces of the knee where we may experience an element of excessive external rotation as well. Now it's suggested that these injuries occur in isolation only 28% of the time. The majority of the time they occur as an additional injury when someone has an ACL tear or a PCL tear of their knee as well. So here's our 3D anatomy model. Let's dive into the posterior lateral corner and look at the three main structures involved. First of all, we have the lateral collateral ligament. This aims to prevent various forces of the knee joint. The femoral attachment of the LCL is a small bony depression, slightly proximal and posterior to the lateral epicondyle of the femur. The LCL then runs distally to insert into the fibula head. Then we have the popliteus tendon, the tendon of the popliteus muscle. This muscle helps in the unlocking mechanism of the knee from a fully extended position and stabilizes the knee against external rotation. Then we have the popliteofibular ligament. This provides stability against various forces and external rotation. And as you can see, it almost seems to blend into the popliteus tendon as well as having an attachment to the fibular head. So whilst those are the three main structures involved, there are other elements to consider, including the biceps femoris tendon, one of the hamstring muscles, as well as various other smaller ligaments and capsular components that also contribute to the stability and function of the posterior lateral corner. So what are some of the common ways in which the posterior lateral corner gets injured? Well, the first is going to be an excessive varus force, which opens up the lateral compartment of the knee like this. Now, this could happen with a direct trauma to the anteromedial aspect of the knee, which then pushes the knee into that varus position. We might also think about a hyperextension injury, which is really going to stress all the posterior structures of the knee. And of course, we can think about an excessive external rotation force where the patient is twisting perhaps on a planted foot which can stress all of those structures on the lateral side. So what might be some of the key signs that our patients presents with if they have this injury? Well the first is going to be pain and swelling. Naturally with any major ligament injury around the knee these symptoms are likely to occur. The other major symptom is instability. When ligaments are torn, it means that the stability of the knee is compromised. So listen out for your patients who say they feel that their knee is wobbly, who say that twisting becomes much more fragile or feels much more vulnerable to them. Then we can consider special tests such as a varus stress test, or the dial test. Both of these look to see whether or not there is an injury specifically to the lateral and posterior lateral structures of the knee joint. We might also consider whether or not our patient has excessive bruising in the posterior lateral part of their leg. That's because there are lots of major blood vessels around the posterior lateral corner. So if there's an excessive trauma there, those blood vessels can get injured as well, leading to the spreading of blood and therefore bruising. Bruising is not a common feature of lots of other knee injuries. So certainly look out for it to see if your patient may have a posterior lateral corner injury. So if we do suspect this injury, we should really consider referring this patient on for an MRI scan and quickly. And the reason being is because the surgery that they have to repair the posterior lateral corner gets the best outcomes if surgery takes place quickly before all those structures and ligaments get loose and fibrotic following the injury. So it's really important if we do suspect it, refer the patient on early to see if they can get that scan to see whether or not it's injured. So everyone, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please support us by smashing that like button and subscribe to the channel for all our best updates. We've got loads more resources on our Instagram account at Clinical Physio and our website, clinicalphysio.com. My name's Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.